a great weekend for a festival. Yeah. And the Gumbo Festival is going on this weekend. Yeah, this is uh, Treme Creole Gumbo Festival, 11 a.m. starting Saturday and Sunday. Every type of gumbo imaginable, seafood, yaya, the herbs, uh, a vegan gumbo, uh, which I have yet to try. I'm excited to see how they as long as vegan gumbo. Oak that's good. <laughs> right, as long as there's okra. Uh, cooking demonstrations. The music lineup, I think, would be worth going for alone. Rebirth, uh, Soul Rebels, Hot 8, TBC, my favorite brass band, and uh, Treme and Panorama. So a, a huge music lineup and, and a lot of gumbo. There. Is that a free event? Yep, free. Oh, very good. Yep. Uh, and weather's going to be great for that. Yep. Tomorrow night, kick off your weekend with Juju Child. The blues guitar player performs the 21st Amendment on Iberville Street in the Quarter starting at 6. Saturday, Armstrong Park rocking with the Treme Creole Gumbo Festival. You can see the Treme and New Breed Brass Bands and Eat All You Can. It runs from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, and it's free to get in. And you can finish your weekend with jazz man Carl LeBlanc performing at Bamboola's in the Marigny at 5.30. Heading back on over to that seven day, you can see by Saturday afternoon, we're going to be dealing with those temperatures in the lower 70s, mostly sunny skies. And that's great news if you're going to be heading to the Treme Creo Gumbo Festival over at Louis Armstrong Park, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. You see those temperatures right there, low to mid 70s for the afternoon, getting back into the 60s by the time the festival wraps up. But the weather is just going to stay gorgeous. As for the rest of the seven day, you're going to be seeing those temperatures on Sunday in the mid 70s. By next week, a small chance of rain on Monday, eh, but only a small one, passing shower by Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And once we get past Friday, obviously we get to Saturday. And the festival this weekend, one of them we're going to be checking out is the Treme Creole Gumbo Festival in Louis Armstrong Park. Temperatures in the low to mid 70s out there. And really, that's where we're going to stay for the next seven days. And if you're looking for some live local music to listen to this weekend, we've got our twist picks from the WWOZ Livewire. Friday night, kick off your weekend with Juju Child. The blues guitar player performs at 21st Amendment on Iberville in the French Quarter. It starts at 6. Saturday, Armstrong Park's going to be rocking with the Treme Creole Gumbo Festival. See the Treme and New Breed Brass Bands and uh, eat all you can while you're there, right? It runs 11 to 7 Saturday and Sunday, and it's free to get in. be a gorgeous fall weekend to grab some gumbo. The 2016 Treme Creole Gumbo Festival is this weekend at Armstrong Park on North Rampart. Several vendors will be cooking a variety of gumbos. There will be, I love that coat. There will be brass band. That's 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow. It's Sunday. Admission is free. Leave that coat at home this year. It's too hot. And the Treme Gumbo Festival, temperature will be in the 70s on Saturday and Sunday. Again, sunny on Saturday, but cloudy on Sunday. That's at Armstrong Park from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. each day. So head down there and enjoy some of the nice weather and good gumbo out there, too. As you heard from Dave, it will be a gorgeous fall weekend to grab some gumbo. The 2016 Treme Creo Gumbo Festival is this weekend at Armstrong Park on North Rampart. Several vendors will be cooking a variety of gumbos. There will also be brass bands and fun for the kids. This is 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow and Sunday, and admission is free. Not so much here in town. Treme Gumbo Fest looking great too. Saturday, you're looking at mostly sunny skies, but mostly cloudy on Sunday. That's over at Armstrong Park from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. So check that out. Actually, some decent weather to try out some gumbo this weekend. We do. It's the Treme Gumbo Festival. That is uh, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 11 o'clock in the morning till 7 o'clock. And it's going to be a gorgeous one for the 2016 version at Armstrong Park, right there on North Rampart Street. Several vendors will be cooking a variety of gumbos. There will also be brass bands you can hear in the background. A lot of fun for kids from 11 o'clock to 7 o'clock tomorrow and Sunday. And admission is free. Temperatures will stay to the lower 70s each day. And the Treme Gumbo Creole, rather Gumbo Fest, uh, going on in Armstrong Park. Saturday and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. A lot of sunshine tomorrow, but Sunday more cloud cover out there. So you may want to go out there and have a great time. Grab your sunglasses, maybe sunscreen if you're heading out on Saturday. The beautiful weather we have in store for this weekend could make it a perfect time to stop by the Treme Creole Gumbo Festival. That's tomorrow and Sunday at Armstrong Park on North Rampart. 
Several vendors will be cooking up hot gumbo from 11 a.m. until 7. It also features a brass band and lots of fun things for kids. Admission is free. And also the uh, Creole Gumbo Fest here in Treme. Looking at temperatures in the 70s, but again, sunny on Saturday, cloudy on Sunday. That's at Armstrong Park from 11 to a.m. to 7 p.m. And also the Gumbo Festival, the Creole one there in Treme. A lot of sunshine tomorrow. Sunday, though, mostly cloudy at Armstrong Park there from 11 a.m. to 7 a.m. each day. So actually pretty good gumbo weather, especially if you go earlier in the day today. Same for the Treme Creole Gumbo Fest. Again, Saturday, more sun than Sunday. That's at Armstrong Park from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. with our temperatures in the 70s. So that'll be something to see if you can get out there Sunday night into early Monday morning. For the Treme Gumbo Festival, temperatures in the 70s, mostly sunny tomorrow, and then again, more clouds on Sunday, but not expecting a lot of rain as we head into this weekend. And there are, of course, a lot of other events going on. Finally, as Alexander told us, it's going to be a great weekend to be outside, and all things gumbo are being celebrated here in New Orleans at the Treme Gumbo Festival. It's going on tomorrow and Sunday at Armstrong Park, Park on North Rampart Street. A number of vendors will be out there cooking up hot gumbo from 11 o'clock till 7 each day. Besides all the gumbo, there'll be brass bands and lots of fun things for the kids to do. Admission is free. Well, this weekend, gumbo lovers can get their fill of the delicious dish at the free Treme Creole Gumbo Fest at Armstrong Park. It starts Saturday, November 12th, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., and then it wraps up on Sunday. And here with more of what you can find at the fest is one of the restaurants serving up gumbo, Wayne Balquet, the owner of Little Dizzy's Restaurant, and one of the event organizers, Scott Ages, Director of Programs, Marketing, and Communications with the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation. Welcome, guys. Thanks for having us. This is Thank perfect you. time of year the weather is cooling down and Wayne everyone knows you've got some of the best gumbo in the world so you, it's, you. it's so perfect that you are going to be the one serving this up but Scott let me start with you um, let's talk about the event for those who have not been to it what can they expect what will be there in terms of gumbo music and what else sure well this is the ninth annual Treme Creole Gumbo Festival this mm -hmm. is one of four free festivals put on by the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation mm -hmm. which is the nonprofit that owns the Jazz Fest mm -hmm. and we use the money from Jazz Fest for all of the free programs that we do throughout the year Treme Creole Gumbo Festival it's in Armstrong Park all mm -hmm. day Saturday and Sunday mm -hmm. we have 13 food vendors this wow. year which is up from nine last year so there won't be any lines don't worry about that <laughs> we also have a new food court in Congo Square that we're activating for the first time this mm -hmm. year as well as cooking demonstrations. Mm -hmm. So Wayne and also Leah Chase and Susan Spicer cool. are going to be doing de demonstrations for all their secrets of how to make gumbo. Oh Plus there's gosh. also brass bands. So it's our, it's our brass band showcase. So we have 16 brass bands all performing on stage over the course of the weekend. So all, the, all your favorites, the Rebirth, the Hot Eight, um, the New Breed brass band, the To Be Continued, the Treme wow. brass band, the Pollen right. Brothers. Just I mean, show up at Armstrong Park. And this is all there. And let me ask you first, Wayne, what sure. is considered the quintessential classic gumbo? Is it with seafood? Is it with with it, meat? Like it's, what? It's, we have Creole gumbo, Creole okay. soul gumbo. We put it all in there. Okay. All right, we put Louisiana put, shrimp. I see you got your shrimp. We put smoked sausage, a smoked really good sausage. smoked sausage. Okay. We put ham. Ham. We put our own homemade hot sausage. Hot we sausage. Make this. A little okay. bit of everything. Right. And we put our, our gumbo crabs. Okay. And of course, we your filet it at season. the end. But the most important secret is this right here the bake filet gumbo so if you, if you roux. Like your, this is the roux right so you, here. Can you buy that to you try can to replicate that? You can that? actually buy it. And the reason why we've done this, this is my father's uh, recipe, is mm -hmm. so that we could be consistent at all times wherever we go. Mm -hmm. Whether we go in a festival or another restaurant. Or, right. You know, I'm, I'm always moving around. And anyway, this makes this totally consistent where you're going to always get this. And you're going to always get this great combination, which we just completed. Which you have there. You know? I want to try that. And Scott, while, while I'm trying that, mm -hmm. It's so phenomenal. Isn't it great? Okay, what about parking and what else do you need people to know when they show up? There's actually parking at the um, uh, Mahalia Jackson Theater parking lot. So if you enter, v enter via Basin Street, mm -hmm. there's parking, am ample parking there. Uh, okay. So that will be, and also you can take the new streetcar, the, the Rampart streetcar line. What a great way to help raise money for good programs locally. What would you say is, um, the, the one thing that they're going to learn from you when they come to taste your gumbo at the festival, that the other secret. Well, well, the thing is, Scott has been very generous with us. Mm -hmm. We're not we're not only doing gumbo, 
but I'm famous for my fried chicken, so I'm doing <gasps> red beans and rice oh with gosh. fried chicken and That's cornbread. So <laughs> and I'm famous for my trout by case, and we're doing trout with the lump crab meat and the lemon butter sauce. Oh. And so are all the other vendors doing some extra thing. Yeah. You're going to come and get some of the best food you can get in any festival. Well, at if this you're there, moment. definitely. Anywhere particularly you're going to be on the grounds? We're going to be all together, like in a little L. <laughs> He'll be in Came one of the food booths that's closest to the stage, okay. which is in the Armstrong Plaza area. If you know where the Louis Armstrong statue is, right, right there. You okay. can't and miss it. Okay, and kickoff is again for people? 11 a.m. on Saturday, and it goes up until 7.15 p.m. on Saturday and also on Sunday. And admission is free, and this is one of the free events put on by the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation. The complete schedule, all the details are online at TremayGumboFest.com. Guys, thank you so much. Thank always you very nice much. To always you nice to see you You're always doing these festivals. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great turnout. The Treme Creole Gumbo Festival kicks off Saturday in Congo Square. There will be an array of delicious gumbos for meat lovers, seafood lovers, and even some choices for vegans. And what's Congo Square without some music, right? Well, the free festival will have the sounds of jazz, brass bands, and more filling the air. The festival runs through Sunday. Who's ready for some gumbo? The Treme Creole Gumbo Fest will take over Congo Square this weekend. If you've ever wondered which fest has the most brass bands, you've probably found it. to start Saturday morning and run through Sunday night. Well, if you are a fan of gumbo, you'll want to make your way to Armstrong Park this weekend. The annual Treme Creole Gumbo Fest is back on Saturday and Sunday. You can try more than a dozen different varieties of gumbo, with many vendors serving it up large, large bowls as well as smaller sample size portions. The music lineup is stacked with New Orleans' best brass bands, and this year the fest has expanded to include an additional food court in Congo Square. Who's ready for some gumbo? The Treme Creole Gumbo Fest will take over Congo Square this weekend. If you've ever wondered which fest has the most brass bands, you've probably found it here. Performances start Saturday morning and run through Sunday night. Here's your pinpoint forecast for tomorrow tailgating for the Saints game. You can see out at the Superdome in Champion Square, temperatures mainly in the 60s. So I would grab a jacket or sweater for tailgating early tomorrow. And then as the game starts at noon, eventually after the game, we'll be making it into the low 70s. For the Treme Gumbo Festival, it'll be on the coolish side in the 60s and then reaching the low 70s for the afternoon. Brass bands and gumbo pots stirred up Armstrong Park today for the annual Treme Creole Gumbo Festival. The free festival showcases live music and all kinds of gumbo recipes. The festival happening until 7 o'clock tonight and, of course, continues in Treme tomorrow. All right, a warm cup of gumbo and the sounds of brass bands sounding like a good time at Armstrong Park. The 2016 Treme Creole Gumbo Festival brought crowds, the music, and the food to the historic neighborhood. Also, there's a large arts market with dozens of local artists showcasing their handmade work. If you missed it today, they'll be doing it all over again tomorrow from 11 to 7. Looking great. Temperatures in the 60s, though, before the game. So you may want those sweatshirts and jackets if you are going to be out there before kickoff, which is at noon. Tomorrow for the Treme Gumbo Festival, looking good. We'll make it through the 60s. Well, today you have another chance to enjoy those cool sounds with a warm cup of gumbo. The 2016 Treme Creole Gumbo, gumbo Festival continues today at Armstrong Park. The festival has brought crowds, music, and food to the historic neighborhood all weekend. The event runs from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. today. This weekend, brass bands are providing the soundtrack to the Treme Creole Gumbo Festival. This year, the fest is in Armstrong Park and has expanded with a new food court in Congo Square. You can sample more than a dozen different kinds of gumbo and learn about how to make it from legendary chefs like Aaliyah Chase. Admission is free and the fest starts back up at 11 o'clock this morning. There she is. She is awesome. All right, time to take it down if you want to get out and enjoy a warm cup of gumbo at the annual Treme Creole Gumbo Festival. The event will wrap up at 7 tonight at Armstrong Park. The festival has brought crowds, music, and food to the historic neighborhood all weekend long. And 
the weather was not bad if you had it out and about. All right, welcome back. Our apologies about the mix-up, but back here in New Orleans, the 2016 Treme Creole Gumbo Fest kicked off over the weekend. And this is the ninth annual Gumbo Fest, and thousands showed up to taste test a variety of gumbos that served to symbolize the melting pot nature of New Orleans culture. There was something for everyone to try, including shrimp and oyster gumbo, chicken and andouille gumbo. Even gluten-free options were available. New Orleans premier brass band showcase was in full effect in Louis Armstrong Park as well, headlined by the Grammy-winning Rebirth Brass Band. Festival is produced and presented by the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation. In the past, we have had all of our food vendors set up right over here by the stage, but now we've expanded into Congo Square, which is giving us a much wider footprint and also making the food lines a whole lot shorter, so the people are going to like that. Plus, new this year, we have a cooking demonstration stage. There's still time to head out and enjoy all that great music and, of course, the gumbo. This year's Treme Creole Gumbo Festival ends tonight at 7 o'clock. Dozens of people gathered in the Treme area for some great music and even better food. Oh, yeah, the ninth annual Treme Gumbo Fest wrapped today at Armstrong Park. Crowds enjoyed live music, arts and crafts, and, of course, you'd expect it, Plenty of gumbo. Organizers call it the festival with the most New Orleans flair. Ooh, that looks tasty. Wish I was there. Well, few food and music lovers gathered in the Treme area this weekend. The ninth annual Treme Gumbo Fest wrapped today in Armstrong Park. Crowds enjoyed live music, arts and crafts, and plenty of gumbo and more. Catfish po' boys, shrimp po' boys, red beans and rice, fried chicken. I mean, is, this is the mecca of New Orleans food right here at this festival. Holy smokes, that's a menu. Today's performers included the Louisiana Philharmonic Orchestra, the Hot 8, and Rebirth Brass Bands. Well, the 2016 Treme Creole Gumbo Fest kicked off over the weekend. This is the ninth annual Gumbo Fest, and thousands showed up to taste test a variety of gumbos that served to symbolize the melting pot nature of New Orleans culture. There was something for everyone to try, including shrimp and oyster gumbo, chicken and andouille gumbo. Even gluten-free options were available. New Orleans' premier brass band showcase was in full effect in Louis Armstrong Park as well, headlined by the Grammy-winning Rebirth Brass Band. Festivals produced and presented by the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation. In the past, we have had all of our food vendors set up right over here by the stage, but now we've expanded into Congo Square, which is giving us a much wider footprint and also making the food lines a whole lot shorter, so the people are going to like that. Plus, new this year, we have a cooking demonstration stage. All that great music and gumbo wrapped up tonight around 7. Thanks. Well, the final day of the annual Treme Creole Gumbo Festival wrapped up this evening, adding to another successful festival weekend in the Crescent City. Organizers say festivals like this are a great platform for businesses to showcase their food. There is a great spread of taste on display for visitors from chicken and andouille gumbo to more vegan choices. That, along with all the music and fun, keeps many people coming back each year. I think the fact that we had the expansion of our food court with adding more food vendors and including some legendary food restaurants here in New Orleans like Willie Mae Scotch House, they've never been with us before. So the addition of the, the food court and some very well-known new vendors joining the festival I think is what accounts for the increase in attendance. The Creole Gumbo Festival is one of four free festivals that the Jazz and Heritage Foundation puts on each year. Well, the ninth annual tree, uh, sorry, Treme Creole Gumbo Fest was held this weekend. Thousands showed up to taste test a variety of gumbos at Louis Armstrong Park. There was something for everyone to try, including shrimp and oyster gumbo, chicken and andouille, my favorite, even some gluten-free options this year. In the past, we have had all of our food vendors set up right over here by the stage, but now we've expanded into Congo Square, which is giving us a much wider footprint and also making the food lines a whole lot shorter, so the people are going to like that. Plus, new this year, we have a cooking demonstration stage. Well, there was a brass band showcase as well, headlined by Grammy Award-winning Rebirth Brass Band. The Treme Creole Gumbo Fest is produced and presented by the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation.
Sun now 625 and the annual Treme Creo Gumbo Festival is in the books, adding to another successful weekend in the Crescent City. sounds there. Organizers say that festivals like this are a great platform for businesses to showcase their food. There was a great spread of taste on display for visitors from chicken and andouille gumbo to more vegan choices. That along with all the bands kept many people coming back and came, they came back this year. I think the fact that we had the expansion of our food court with adding more food vendors and including some legendary food restaurants here in New Orleans like Willie Mae Scotch House, they've never been with us before. So the addition of the, the food court and some very well-known new vendors joining the festival I think is what accounts for the increase in attendance. Well now I'm hungry. You know the Gumbo Festival is just one of four free festivals that the Jazz and Heritage Foundation puts on each year. The ninth annual Treme Creole Gumbo Fest was held this weekend in New Orleans. Thousands showed up to taste test a variety of gumbos at Louis Armstrong Park. Something for everyone to try, including shrimp and oyster gumbo, chicken and andouille, even some gluten-free options. There was a brass band showcase as well, headlined by Grammy Award-winning Rebirth Brass Band. The Treme Creole Gumbo Fest is produced and presented by the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation.